Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Eric Rulin from the St. Paul Pet Hospital. I have a lot of clients that have asked me recently about my opinion about pet insurance and whether or not pet insurance should be purchased or not. I think pet insurance is actually a really great idea, but sometimes I think there's a slightly more practical way in which we can approach uh, saving for our pets' healthcare needs and in the need of or in the event of a catastrophic either emergency or diagnostic need or, or surgical procedure. Um, I always remind people that insurance companies really exist and the business exists because more money is being paid in than it is being paid out. Insurance companies wouldn't exist if that wasn't the case. What's sometimes a little bit more practical idea is when people purchase either a new puppy or you acquire a new rescue dog. Um, a good way to look at it um, and, to, and to have some uh, some forward thinking in this is to maybe set aside or set up a separate account in your either your, at your bank or your financial institution. Go and separate set up a separate account that draws out either anywhere between fifteen and twenty dollars every month and saves it and sets it aside in a separate savings account that you can use in the event of a catastrophic event or diagnostic procedure that's needed. Um, and you don't ever need to access that that little bit amount that little money that's being drawn out every month. But after a few years. Um, that amount is going to grow pretty substantially. So it's a good way to just take some personal responsibility and just save a little bit towards the future, but it's also like your own, your own personal insurance plan, and you're not invo involving a third-party um, source, and it's, it's actually a really practical way to do it. And um, that way, if anything happens or if something does happen to your pet, and, uh, and unfor you know, unfortunately, we all have to say goodbye to our pets at some point, if that insurance or, that, or your savings account is still there, then you still have you still have some money left over and you still have it and you still own that money. You're not just giving that money to an insurance company. So just some practical ways to look at um, pet insurance and, and, and what my personal opinions are. Like I said, I, I think insurance is a good idea for some people, but sometimes when we have that greater conversation, it's nice to think about um, long-term saving for, for healthcare costs and everything. I'm Dr. Lillian from St. Paul Pet Hospital. I hope that was informational and I hope I see you around the great city of St. Paul soon.